Hi, Bug. Hi, Bug. Hi, Bug. This is my girlfriend, Alyssa. And this is my girlfriend, Lauren. <laughs> and today we're doing part two of how you guys either met your partners, fell in love, how you guys connected with your significant others, your crushes, your little love stories, your little love gossips. Yes. We love them so much. And we already did a part one, so if you haven't watched that, go watch that. It's loads of yes. fun, um, but this is our part two. 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 And if you want to be involved in videos like this in the future, we got all of these submissions from our Instagrams, which you can see here. Yes. Go there, because sometimes we are typing on our little story and we're saying- And we're asking you some questions. We're saying, hey girlies, you want to be in a video? Because we would love to tell people about yes. your queer joy. And thanks again to Brina for DMing me out of the blue and giving me a suggestion for this exact video. This is so cute. Y'all, yes. if you ever have any videos you want to see us do, let us shoot know. us a DM, type it in the comments, whatever, and yeah. perhaps we will do it. Yeah, and this is proof of that. Let's get cracking. Let's do it. Okay, so our first one goes like this. She was a friend of a friend and we met at a skating rink birthday party. But I like to say we met a month later at the same friend's Halloween party where we got to know each other better and talked to the whole party. At the party, we had a small group of mutual friends and we all decided to organize a secret Santa for December together. So someone wrote everyone's names on little pieces of paper and I accidentally peeked and saw her name in one of them. I grabbed it and I gave her a heart locket for a secret Santa after stalking her Pinterest and a few months later, she gave me a heart-shaped locket for my birthday. That's so sweet. That's so cute. I love how party-based it is. I know. You guys I go to that. a lot of events. Yeah, social girl. Yeah. That's so cute. The freaking mm -hmm. lockets. Alyssa got me a locket for Christmas and it makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. It's I love so our lockets. And I love um, that you peaked. I love that you Yeah, lied. I love that you peeked. I you love that you went love. on her Pinterest. Yes. You were a sleuth. Yes. And for that, I'm proud. Snaps to you. As a fellow peeker, shout out to you. Yeah, we, Alyssa and I are both peekers. Mm -hmm. I met Alyssa and a week later, I was listening to Spotify playlist she had made years ago. There you go. And I was saying, and I was who on, did you make this for? I was on Lauren's Twitter and I said, why aren't you tweeting anymore? Yeah, classic us. Mm -hmm. Me and my partner met in trans group therapy on our college campus back in 2020. We became friends and eventually went on the same trip abroad. We studied abroad in Salzburg, Austria, and we were roommates there, and we slowly fell in love while traveling across Europe, but didn't start dating till we got back to the USA because we didn't want things to be weird if we weren't a match dating-wise. So we waited, and then June 20th, 2022 we started dating now we live in a condo slash studio apartment thing in san francisco and we have an adorable cat that we love and adore and we are loving living the life that's so cute that's so sweet also you guys are smart you said we're gonna wait we're gonna wait to make sure we don't ruin our abroad experience it would be very hard to be living with somebody and then starting to date them yeah no, that's I, so a cute. lot of people do it. Also, we love San Francisco. We love San Francisco. I've only been once, but I'm obsessed Me with well. it. I'm jealous that you live there. Mm -hmm. I would love to live there one day for well, a little bit. It's supposed period. to be the happiest place to live, no? In the US. Yes. I think it's like the happiest yes. city to live in the US. That's wonderful. Y'all are rocking it. I'm glad you're loving living the life. I understand why, because you're in San Francisco. Also, I love that so many people in their DMs are telling us about the pets that they got together. Yeah. Like everybody's like, I have a rescue bulldog. Yeah. Like, it's so sweet. <laughs> Like we have a little baby child who is actually a cat. Yeah, and I love that. No, I think that's um, really cute. And how wonderful that um, joining a group to seek help would bring you your loved one. Yeah. yeah. And you guys have that shared experience together, which mm -hmm. is just, I feel like, can really help people connect on like a yeah. deeper level. Also, my true dreams are t just to like jet set around the world with Alyssa and try yummy food and stay at pretty places mm -hmm. and see cool see things the and then take videos and show you guys. That's literally <laughs> if I could the make fantasy. if I could make us a travel channel, I would because I just want to. She loves travel. I I, I want to travel so bad and I want to just walk around to places and eat their cool food. I had a dream last night. I was in Thailand. Oh, how random. No, it's not random because we've been watching Drag Race UK versus the world oh. and we've been obsessed with Pangina. Yes, we are late and yeah, to the game, but we love Pangina. And she is one of the 
the hosts of, of Drag, Race Drag Race Thailand. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment so we can go to Thailand and be on a pride float, please. My crush and I met when we were five, but didn't actually become good friends until we were 12 or 13. I'm asking her out in a few weeks to go to a queer teen formal and telling her how I feel, and I hope she likes me back. I'm making her a custom CD mixtape and plan to ask her to go get her favorite snack and go to our favorite park. I love seeing your content and seeing you with your girlfriend has helped me get enough courage to finally ask out the girl I like. Woo! Yay! That's so cute. And I love that you're making her a CD mixtape. That's so sweet. That and to get her favorite so snack. Sweet. I love I love a CD mixtape. Alyssa and I make each other playlists on Spotify slash Apple Music. Apple Music, Spotify. Yeah. We're, a, we're a divided household. We are. But um, <laughs> a classic little CD mixtape is so cute. That's yeah. so sweet. You seem and very considerate. And I'm hoping for you. I hope that you guys get to go to the teen formal. Alyssa and I have gone to a queer prom before mm -hmm. as adults. And We've been so to fun. multiple queer proms. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, LA gays love to host <laughs> a queer prom. Yeah, because everybody wants to experience prom. Yeah. I think this one's gonna resonate with you in a way. Okay. My partner Amber and I met at Mormon girls camp. They knew they were gay and had a crush on me, but I still had no idea. We reunited three years later as college kids in a different state and started dating. Lesbians find a way, lol. You do! Yes, you do! No, I love, something Something about me is I, I love a gay story with with people overcoming religious trauma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I could only assume if you were Mormon, something was happening there. Probably. Because I was independent Baptist and gosh, it hurt. It hurt. Ouch! But you're right, lesbians do find a way because I'm the happiest I've ever been. Mm. And I hope that you are the happiest you've ever yeah, been it's and wonderful. that it continues to grow. It's wonderful that you got to reunite. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. very sweet. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Ew. Mormon girls camp. Mormon girls camp. I love the Mormon song parodies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I did that, I'm sorry. We were slow burn friends to lovers. We met in high school at a dance, became really good friends, developed painful pining crushes on each other that went unspoken for a couple years. Both of us being in straight relationships didn't help. And then finally admitted we liked each other and started dating right at the end of senior year. We moved away from our hometown together and have been inseparable and head over heels in love ever since. Wow! That's so cute. Congrats on your move. Oh yes, that's so exciting. <laughs> I think it's so cute when it's like a slow burn friends to lovers because yeah. like not only do you like this person romantically, but you love them yeah, as a friend and as a person. Every aspect. No, that's so sweet. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy for you guys. Yes, congratulations. I love all this um this dance. Like a lot of these DMs are involving dance. Yeah. Which I really like. Like school going dances. to a little event. I love that. That's fun. That's very romantic and that it, that really makes me happy because it really shows that like we really can have the same experiences as straight people. Like that's true. Not too long ago, like you wouldn't you wouldn't meet somebody at a dance, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. That's but sweet. I got to go, I went to every single prom I went to with a woman. And at my high school you couldn't go with um like officially you couldn't go with a similar gender to you. Like if I were to buy two tickets, I, I couldn't buy them for me and a girl. I had, we had to buy tickets separately because they wouldn't allow you to go in a same gendered couple. Yeah. How messed up is that? Tennessee, baby. Tennessee, baby. Ten Sometimes I wish I could zap back into my high school body for a little bit so that I could like be the very confident queer person that I am now because at the time I was like, confident within myself, but I didn't really, you know, push buttons outwardly. And I kind of wish that I had challenged things like that to make people uncomfortable because I think at the time I was like, eh, it's not that big of a deal. I'm still going with a girl or I'm still going with whoever I want. But mm -hmm. I wish, I wish they got questioned more. Yeah. I remember there was one person at my high school, there was one boy that would occasionally wear skirts and dresses to school purposefully to get dress coded because they were queer. Mm -hmm. And I remember like thinking like that I was like so, I was proud of them. Even though yeah. I didn't know who they were, I wish that I could go back in time and kind of like do more of that myself. Although that's a hard position to be in. And I'm sure that kid got a lot of like Hate flack for, for it, yeah. but good on them. Yeah, and you still remember it. So I still remember it. That was an impact. Yeah, that was like a big thing that I remember being like, 
Wow, like I'm yeah. so, that's so bold. I'm so proud of you. Totally. Our experiences were truly so different. We were always protesting at my school. Yeah. And oh, I remember one year we protested the dress code because at my high school we didn't have, we like technically had a dress code, but it wasn't enforced. Um, and one year they decided to start enforcing it. So a bunch of us protested and like wore clothes against the dress code. And we caused such a stink online that they repealed the dress code. I couldn't wear not pants or floor length skirt. We couldn't wear capris. Really? Isn't At your high wild? school? Yep. That's I was wearing how wild all is. sorts of wild stuff to we school. Couldn't have, we couldn't have any clothes that had words on it or pictures. Uh -huh. It had to be solid or print. Dress codes are so silly. So stupid. So stupid. Yeah. Anyway, Anyways. let's go back to love. This one I want to share because I feel like it relates to our love story. Um, Somebody said, I, I posted the prompt of like, how did you and your partner meet? And somebody replied, on Discord, it sucks. Why isn't it romantic and cool? Well, I want to share that Lauren and I met on TikTok and yeah. it can still be very romantic. Yeah. Um, Because how wonderful that she was in Philly and I was in, I think Boston. Boston. Or maybe I was in San Diego when we started following each other. We found each other from so far away and then we ended up in the same place. Like I think, that's so cool and we're so lucky to have access to each other um, mm -hmm. because we might have never met. Like we would have never met. If I hadn't downloaded TikTok, I would have never even known Alyssa existed. Yeah. And like that makes me heartbroken. Yeah, so if you've if you've met online, whether it be a dating app or like any sort of other thing, um, that's still a beautiful story because you found your way to each other. Yeah. Yeah. So it is romantic. It, is, it is romantic. Cool. The internet can be romantic sometimes. And if your love is romantic and you met via the internet, then then the internet it's, is it's a romantic. love story still. <laughs> but Discord is funny. Were you gaming? Were you gaming? <laughs> what were you on Discord about? Yeah, because you I was remember. on TikTok posting my silly little video. And I was on TikTok like, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we have a YouTube now. Yeah. Because of TikTok. Yeah, everything. TikTok would hate TikTok, to hear that. I mean, here's my thing. TikTok is an interesting place, but it's the reason why I get to live the life that I live. Grateful to miss TikTok on yeah. this day. Yeah. And you should be grateful to miss Discord. Yes. Not today. Yes, because you found love in a hopeless place. You found love in a... <laughs> this one says, we met through Winter Guard. It's a very gay sport. I don't know how, it's just all the people are fruity. But I had a girlfriend at the time, but her parents took away her phone when my current girlfriend, we can call her Iris, the book character she reminds me of, started DMing me on Insta. Me and my girlfriend at the time uh, broke up about two months later, and I ended up really liking Iris at this point. I asked her to come to this church dance with me. I was forced to go. And she said, yes. We slept outside in my parents' RV after, and she got me to watch Carol. Like, how did I not know she liked me? But we were like barely touching that whole night because we were so scared. But we ended up having so much fun. And at Winter Guard Championships, I got a picture of me kissing her on the cheek. About a month after that, I confessed, I confessed through showing her poems that she figured out were about her. And even though she's not too good with words, she wrote me one in response. <laughs> Wonderful. We started dating that night. Oh, that's so cute. What is Winter Guard? Is it like Color Guard? I think so. Okay, cool. I think it is like Color Guard. But in um, the winter? In the winter. Maybe like <laughs> indoors. But mm -hmm. I think that's so cute that's through really the sweet. poems. Yeah. And also, um, I think it's really funny that you said she's not very good with words. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> you said, I love said. her, but that girl can't write or read. <laughs> that's sweet. I think yeah. that's cute. It also sounds like, it sounds like a little, um, like a teeny bopper rom-com. It does. Like, like sleeping in the RV, figuring out, being like, these poems are about me. And also like being like at championships, like we won, I kissed yeah. her on the cheek. It seems very like Disney Channel original movie, Make It Gay. Mm -hmm. And I love Because you that. start at a big event and you end at the big event. This one says, I downloaded a dating app without any serious intentions, but the first girl that showed up was so gorgeous, I gay panicked and deleted the entire app. An hour later, I realized how stupid that was, got the app again, and spent half an hour going through profiles until I found her again. We matched and she messaged me. Our one year anniversary is in a few weeks. What? 
<laughs> the panic is funny. That's so funny yeah. that you deleted it on the first girl. I have girl. to delete it. Also, I feel like if I were that girl, I would be like, remember how you were so flustered you deleted the app? Like, I think that's so funny. Yeah, well, I think one of the best privileges about dating somebody is you get to be like, what were you thinking the first time you saw me? Yeah. And tell me in detail. And tell me in detail. Tell me again. What were you thinking the first time you saw me? I thought you were so beautiful. And I thought you looked really cool. Wait, is this online? No, I was talking about in person. In person? But online, I don't know. I, I, you were wearing like clown makeup the oh. first time I saw you because it was imaginary friend. You I don't remember the first video I saw of you, but I, I, I can probably recreate like what I it think it like. was Nomeo and Julia. I was probably like this. Uh, woo -ga, woo -ga. <laughs> Ooh, boom. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. This is our last one for uh -huh. this video. Uh -huh. My girlfriend and I met on Bumble, and the minute I saw she wanted to watch Lord of the Rings Extended Edition as a date, I started planning the wedding. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love this because... Oh. Because this is the exact movie that I would put on for my dog uh, when I would leave the house for like over a year. Because it's one of the longest movies on streaming. Yes. <laughs> this dog has passed on, yeah. but I know that she's up there. She's never watched any of the other Lord of the Rings. I hope yeah, that she has that access one. to see the rest of them because I feel like she's like, this is an incomplete story. Yeah. I hope you guys plan a wedding and I hope that you walk down the aisle to like something from the score. Also, I think like a Lord of the Rings wedding would be so beautiful. Like yeah. the, the outfits that the elves wear. Yeah, and like greenery. All right. Yeah, Hobbit I Hills. hope you guys get married. Yes, have a wedding, why not? Thank you so much, everybody, for watching! Thank you, and remember, this is part two. Go watch part one if you yes. haven't yet. And it, again, if you want to be a part of our videos in the future, go follow us on Instagram, because all the time we are adding things to our story to have people submit things for videos, and we'd love to see you there. Make sure yes. you subscribe, hit that bell, comment, like. Ding, ding! We'll see you for the next one. Yes, thank you so much. Once Bye. again, for watching. Bye! Bye, mugs! Bye, mugs! Bye, Bye. I'm wearing a hat. Does it look okay? Yeah, it looks really cute. Okay, good. <laughs> Alyssa made this hat. I did.